All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so something that we have to talk about is something we've kind of already talked about, and that is the DOM. What does it stand for? What does it even mean? And I took a junior college class on this. I paid like 300 bucks, and they explained it in like 10 hours. Waste of money, waste of time. All you need to know the DOM stands for document, object, model, and it's a hierarchy. Like in the last video, we talked about how humans read books the same way browsers interpret web pages, and that's completely true. But jQuery goes against that. So obviously right now, if we open this up in a browser, it's gonna spit out really fast because there's what? 20 lines of code, 26 lines of code. What if we had 26,000 lines of code and we didn't have jQuery? All of our JavaScript would open after the page has rendered all the way down to our closing HTML tag. That's it. That's all the DOM means. Top to bottom, left to right, and jQuery goes against that and it opens up right on the fly. That's the DOM. It hits doc type, HTML, head, then title, then closing title, closing head, all the way down. jQuery goes against that. It goes against the DOM. The DOM is just the order of operation a browser renders uh, a web page, a file. That's it, the DOM. Good luck. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys.